Hey everybody. Uh, wood splitter we're going to use. Uh, it's not the most powerful thing in the world. My son-in-law and I, before he passed away, he died of a brain tumor. Uh, we used to split all our firewood with it the last four or five years. Uh, with him, he would hold the wood because you had to hold this button in and push this to get the hydraulic pump to work. Uh, with me here by myself, because he's gone, uh, part of the firewood's going to have to go to my daughter because she's got the, that's her only source of heat. Uh, we have propane plus the firewood as a, as a backup and uh, try to keep the price of the filling the propane tank up. So what I'm going to do is uh, something and <laughs> probably shouldn't do because it's put on there to keep people safe. I'm going to try to figure out uh, how to bypass that switch so and I don't have another switch to put in so when I plug it in the motor's going to run. Uh, we're going to see how we make out with that. I'm going to put it out here and you're going to watch me try and bypass it. Uh, it's going to be a while before we get around to the splitting process because we've got to go out this evening. But uh, I'm going to take a take a uh, a shot at uh, bypassing this switch. Okay, we'll set you up outside and see how we make out. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I lifted it up on top of the back end of the Polaris. Uh, let me put this around this way so it's not quite so bright. I'm going to take this cover off. I've already taken the screws out of it. Let me show you what we're going to put up with next year, though. I don't know whether you can see those acorns all over the ground. There's Junior eating an acorn. I understand the Indians used to either put the acorns in a bag and leave them in the creek for four or five days to get the tannic acid out of them. But, and then the boil them and mash them up and make some sort of patty out of them for food source. Uh, I'm not ready for that yet. Maybe the day may come to that. Okay, we're going to go back the other way, get back to work again. But as you can see, we've got acorns everywhere. Last year was the same way, and uh, which means that uh, next spring there will be a whole lot of a whole lot of uh, white-tailed deer fawns born because there was this year. Okay, I'm going to mount you on the tripod. See if we can if you can see what I'm doing down in there. I'll be back to you shortly. Bye. Okay, here we go. I think you can see that. I hope. If not, we'll throw this video away and make another one. Okay, I've already got. All the screws. Yeah, see where are they? Over here. I already got out all the screws out of the cover. Pretty much loosened everything up. I've got this off. I'm going to have to take the reset for the thermal overload out to make it enough room to fit. Okay. Now 
I would assume the black goes to the black and the white goes to the white. That's what we're going to try. I'm going to have to put the switch back in. To fill up that hole in case it rains. Hey everybody, uh, here's a remake of a video I did earlier on rewiring my uh, my uh, electric log splitter so that you can only use one hand, uh, so you can hold the log with one hand and push the uh, hydraulic switch with the other, uh, because pushing down a button with one switch, one hand, and uh, pushing the lever with the other hand uh, doesn't leave any to hold the log, uh, and a lot of times when the logs are big, or the split crooked, you have to uh, roll them around and hold them in position. Now, I don't recommend anybody does this, and uh, I put a little uh, uh, little blurb in there about uh, uh, start capacities. Start capacitors, uh, they can store electricity for uh, one or two years. A small one like this, uh, make your hair stand on end. Uh, a large one can kill you. So, uh, uh, I put a little blurb on uh, how, how to short one of those out and make sure that you short it out before you start on this because uh, I'm working on a switch, but the switches come from the start capacitor, so uh, I did short them out before I started. Okay, now this is uh, uh, what I did in the uh, video was I just bypassed the switch, uh, but what I found is if it jams, if the, if the log splitter oop, can't split it, and it jams, I had to unplug it and let it back out and then plug it back in to get it to run again. So what I did was I ordered an on-off switch. Now this one you push down just to kill it and to get it back on you have to twist it and let it come up uh, which is not easy to do with gloves. Uh, the switch that I put on there uh, is just an on-off. You push it down to kill it and pull it up to start it. Uh, I put a, another blurb on the end of that of where I bought that switch. It took a long time to get here because it came from China. But uh, basically this is the same thing as bypassing the, uh, uh, hooking the wires together. You just uh, put them in one side and the other side. And it kills the circuit and starts the circuit. Oh, one thing I forgot uh, was that uh, because these uh, switches came from China, uh, they're made kind of cheap. Uh, this has a tendency to come out. It's got little, you push it down in there and it's got little knobs that kick out. But if they, they get turns a little bit, it comes back out again. So what I did was, I put a little bit of JB weld on there once, it was, once this was mounted inside. Put a little bit of JB weld on there, turned it down in. And because the hole in the top of the box was much larger than this, uh, it would fall down. So I put a little bit of JB weld on here as well. Pushed it up in there, put a little piece of wood underneath it until it dried, and it's been holding and working just fine now. So uh, basically, uh, because it's a Chinese switch and a little cheap, uh, that's why the JB weld is on there. Uh, I'll show that to you when, the, uh, when we get out to the truck, when it quits raining, if it ever quits raining. We'll talk to you then. Bye. Okay, everybody, the rain passed us by, and uh, there's Junior, and uh, I'm going to show you this, this switch mounted on the, I hope that focuses, there it is, start, stop, it's an emergency stop switch. Now what I did was, I hooked the two white wires together and switched the two black ones. One black wire going into each side of the switch. And that's it. Uh, you can see this JB weld down in there. <laughs> I didn't do a real real pretty job on it. Right down in here. Uh, that was to stop it from unscrewing, from popping loose. 
and uh, also from uh, uh, because the hole is a lot bigger for the original switch than this one I put some on the plastic part and pushed it up I put a block of wood under it until it uh, hardened and it's uh, been working just fine I'll put a, a real short little uh, clip at the end of here with it with the log splitter working okay right now I gotta run down to the courthouse we'll talk to you later bye Okay, I'm going to put you in the tripod and we're going to split some wood. And uh, here's where I'm throwing it over here, where Junior's licking it because the sap came out of it. Uh, it's still a little bit green. I'm going to split up a bunch of it, throw it over here, and I've got two face cords of oak coming. So uh, hopefully it'll get here before it gets super cold to where we need it. Thanks for watching. Be back to you very shortly. Bye. Okay, I'm back. We're going to start it off. in it. Well, this one just started to split. It's still pretty green. As soon as we get it done, I'll cut it off. I'll put this piece in here for spacer so it doesn't have to travel quite as far.